Hey, what's up everyone? Mendel here. I hope you are all doing awesome and wonderful. So in this video, I'm going to show you something I do on almost every single mix, which is multi-layered compression on the vocals. So as always, let's dig right in. Here we go. Also, this video is sponsored by Audom. More about them later. So in front of me here, I have a project from a band I recently mixed and mastered called For I Am King, awesome Dutch band. And they did an amazing cover of Kate Bush's Running Up That Hill. And if you've seen Stranger Things, that song's been blowing up everywhere. I think it's like on the top billboards or something. But the band For I Am King did an awesome, awesome uh, cover of this song. Um, really happy how it turned out. And I feel honored that, that they asked me to mix and master this song. So before we go on, let's take a listen to uh, the chorus and a tiny bit before it, and then I'll dive in to multi-layered compression on the vocals. So here we go. Okay, so you get the idea. Awesome, awesome epic track. Um, yeah, I'm really impressed uh, what they did with the song. Love this. It's, it's my favorite cover, but I'm probably biased because I mixed and mastered the song myself. Anyway, also, if you like this song or if you like the mix, I put a link in the description box down below to the YouTube video and to the Spotify. Oh, before I forget, if it's your first time here, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, hit that belly thing. That's much appreciated. Let's continue. But yeah, to be honest, it was quite a challenge to uh, to mix this track. We have, let's see, on the bottom left here, we have 214 tracks. There is so much stuff going on in this song. Um, they also asked me to add some co-production. So I added some like uh, trailer effects and some keys and some synths, some 80s vibes and that kind of stuff. Um, if you would like to know how I do that kind of stuff, please let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to uh, to showcase how I do Add, add like synths and trader effects to a song and what I use. So let me know in the comments about that. But yeah, very impressed by their performances, uh, especially love the clean vocals. I think they're awesome. And while we're talking about awesome, let's get to our today's sponsor, Audom. Audom is a complete work management and collaboration tool for audio engineers and producers. Send lossless audio, get precise and structured feedback from anyone and manage all your projects, files, and soon payments in one secure hub. Try Audom for free today and get more time to be creative. First 20 people to sign up for a paid Autumn account get 20% off discount by using the code MENDEL21ST. alright right, so back to the track. Let's start with uh, the, the main screaming vocals. So the clean vocals are done by Daniel. Those are guest vocals. Uh, Daniel DeYoung, awesome dude from, uh, he played in a band called Textures. Awesome, but in, my, in my opinion, the, the best Dutch band ever. Um, he did an awesome performance, as you could hear, and the main scream vocals, Daniel did some screaming here and there, but the main screaming vocals are done by Alma, uh, their main vocalist, and Alma, uh, she screams phenomenally, I love her screaming, it's like really fierce, as you can tell here. <laughs> Sounds, sounds, sounds so, so awesome. I, uh, I love it to death. So um, let's go to um, her compression first. So over here you see the FG Stress, which is uh, uh, from Slay Digital. This, this is the uh, virtual mix rack. I put a link in the description box below if you want to check it out. But this is the basically based on the stressor, as you can see. And there's quite some gain reduction going on. From memory, I think it's around 14 decibels. Let's see. <laughs> So you can see there's 14 decibels of gain reduction on the, on her vocals. And those same settings are on all her tracks. But when I saw this, as you can see, it goes all the way down to a vocal screams group. And over here, I have the star of the show. 
this is the Shadow Hills Class A, which is doing even more compression. So this is basically two compressors, uh, if you want, but I have it set so I have uh, all the compressors in here. I have on the left the optical compressor, and on the right for metering, I have the discrete compressor, which is like a VCA compressor. So both are working. No one had me! But the OG of the bullet lies! But actually, all her screaming vocals go into this. So all these vocals, screaming vocals, go into the vocal screams buzz. So everything together, there's even more compression. So that's like, uh, it's, it's getting near, near 20 decibels of gain reduction, which is not uncommon to be honest. And I prefer compression over limiting, but with limiting is like, I know it sounds a bit flat in my opinion. With here, I like this pushing effect of like when the compressor engages, really, uh, really love that feel. So let's go to Daniel, his screaming. Let's just change the experience. Oh. So when we go to his channel over here, I also have this pressure, but even more compression on like an 1176. So when I play his vocals, it's hitting around 12 here and three on the 1176. So that's like nearing 15 decibels of gain reduction. So it's not a per se about the numbers, like how much gain reduction, it's basically about the whole picture that they use multiple compressors on different stages, on different channels with different groups or buses. So all of that, that compression, so that's the same compressor on these channels, but also goes into the same screen group with the same distressor on there. Uh, so the distressor, I mean the, the class A. So you get the idea, ton, ton of compression. So now let's go to the clean vocals. So let me solo those vocals first and take a listen. And if I only could, I'd make a deal with God. And I'd get into swamp or places. Be running up that road. Be running up that hill. Be running up that building. And if I only could, I'd make a deal with God. And I'd get into swamp or places. Be running up that road. Be running up that hill. Awesome, awesome vocal performance. So impressed by Daniel. Um, so uh, compression wise, so let's take this channel for an example. Um, I have the 1176 again here, but then I also have like an uh, LA-2A style compressor on here. So let's see how much is doing that. And if I only could, I'd make a deal with God. And I'd get into swamp or places. Be running up that road. Be running up that So as you can see, I'm hitting 10 over here, uh, around two, almost three over here. A lot of compression, same on all those channels. Now all of these go into the vocal cleans group. And this is where I have another Shadow Hills Class A uh, for all the vocal compression. And again, this is the optical metering. This is the VCA compression metering. And let's see how much it's doing here. And if I only could, I'd make a deal with God. And I'd get into swamp or places. Now, just for a fun example, um, the, this is what those vocals sound like without compression. And if I only could, I'd make a deal with God, and I'd get into swamp or places, be running up that road, be running up that hill, be running up... And now the same vocals, but then with compression. And if I only could, I'd make a deal with God, and I'd get into swamp or places. Be running up that road. Be running up that hill. Be running up that building. And if I only could, I'd make a deal with. 
So hopefully you can tell that with the compressors on, it becomes way more in your face. And that's something I need, especially in the metal mix, because there's so much stuff going on. As you could tell, there were 214 tracks in this song. So much stuff going on. So, And the vocal is, in my opinion, the most important thing of the mix. So it really needs to stay on top so everybody can perfectly hear uh, what Daniel is singing and what Alma is singing. So let's do that same thing, um, like the bypass thing on the screaming vocals. So this is without compression on the screaming vocals. Right? And now with compression. So as you can probably tell, way more aggressive, way more aggressive. Now when we hit the chorus, let's bypass all of the compression on all vocals and then I'll turn them on uh, after the second round on all the vocals. Let's see how that feels. All right, so I'll first do a playback with all the compressors off. Then I'll do a playback with all the compressors on and use the time codes in the description box below to switch back and forth so you can clearly hear the difference. So this is off. <laughs> Now I'm turning all these compressors on. All right, so hopefully you can clearly hear the difference there. All right, so that's it. Hopefully you learned something today. Uh, the main thing for this video is uh, don't be afraid to stack multiple compressors on one vocal track and then even group them into a bus or a group track and then even add more compression on that. I think that for me at least it works that I really can get those vocals really sit on top of the mix so everything's really audible and almost like poppy sounding like in your face. Let me know what you think. How do you mix your vocals? Please let me know in the comments. I'm really interested how you guys work, what kind of compressors you use, what kind of plugins do you like? Please let me know in the comments. And until then, see you next time. Cheers. Yeah.